What's going on, YouTube? Uh, it's going to be my first unboxing. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Eat that read with another pickup video for you. Back with another unboxing. Today, I'm um, finally doing my updated Jordan collection video. And I'm shooting in 4K for you. When I walk in the club, got money in pockets. I see you with your guys, and now you're all excited. But damn, I want you, cause baby, you got it. Your man on your hip like it's YouTube, back with another side pickup. This brand is definitely becoming a staple in my collection. Uh, he's dropping a lot of crazy colorways. And like I said, if I like it, I'm going to buy it. So if it keeps coming with the heat, I'm going to keep bringing these reviews to y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully, you know, one of these reviews might make you check them out. Maybe potentially order something. You might become a customer. Who knows? I'm just out here showing you guys what I like personally. And, you know, if you like it, you like it. If not, it's cool, too. I have plenty of stuff coming on the way. So if this is not something you're into, just stay tuned. I have more brands coming in, different types of shoes and everything. I'm all over the place, if you couldn't tell. But, yeah, if this is your first time, come into my channel, watch one of my videos. I do a lot of sneaker reviews, sneaker-related content, as well as streetwear. So, you know, you can't have all the shoes that have nothing to go with them. So, I definitely have, you know, clothing and everything coming soon. So, with that being said, just go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Because my subscribers and my views, the numbers aren't matching up, but it's okay. Just keep watching. That's what I'm here for. Maybe one day you'll subscribe or maybe you're trying to fill me out to see if I'm going to be consistent or whatever. That's cool with me. Do what you got to do. As long as you keep watching, I definitely appreciate you. I think I finally hit over like 3,000 views recently. So I appreciate it. I think I'm right now, currently, as I'm filming this video, I'm at 84 subscribers. Hopefully, by the time this video comes out, which maybe might be another week or two, I'm not sure. It just depends on how everything goes. I'll be at that 100 subscriber mark that milestone but like i say thank you for your support so far and i'm gonna keep banging out these videos for you all right man let's get into it you got the side box you know white with the sia somewhere in america size 12 my size of course and the model is the cv 0 0.02 kosher vulture and the colorway is waffles and butters waffles and butter sorry so yeah um like i said it was a breakfast at tiffany's pack Unfortunately, I was only able to get this shoe. Uh, this shoe. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was only able to purchase this shoe on release day. But Devlin reads all the comments, all the concerns. So I think a few days later, he actually opened up pre-orders for this particular shoe, the Tiffany colorway, and then the two previous colorways he released. Now. Everybody knows, you know, COVID-19, this global pandemic, a lot of stuff has been pushed back or delayed, and he's no exception to that. So a lot of his merchandise um, has been held up overseas because instead of shipping them on planes, they have to ship them on container ships, and that takes forever to get over here to whatever port, and then the port has to unload everything, and they have to go through customs. So he's definitely seeing a delay. So as far as the pre-order, it could be a month or two, maybe three months. It just depends. I'm not sure. Hopefully, the commercial flights open up soon, and he'll be able to get this merchandise out to us faster. But, you know, it's all good. I know it's coming on the way. I actually have one pre-order that I pre-ordered. Well, shoot, that I pre-ordered in April. That should be coming soon, so I would definitely review that. And then whenever the Tiffany colorway comes through, I'll be able to show you, like, the pack in full, but... But right now, he's just getting his part one, the breakfast portion, which will be the waffles and butter. Go ahead and take them out. And yeah, also, in my previous video, I talked about these, but I'll get into it a little more. So let me go ahead and get this box out the way. Set that shoe up right here. Okay, here we have it. Another culture vulture and the waffle and butter colorway. As you see, this shoe is, um, it's not, well, it's yellow for sure. And then you have like a cream or like an off-white. And the sole itself is like a, a pure white. And the 
The reason this name, or well, the name of the shoe is Waffles and Butter, is because you see the yellow, that's the butter portion. And this cream, like along the, um, the front of the shoe, or well, along the whole shoe, embedded in this fly net, changes colors in um, the sunlight. So it's supposed to be like a waffle brown tannish color. It's hard to explain. You just have to see it. And I'm definitely going to get into that a little later when I go outside. I haven't seen the color change in person. Of course, when I got the shoe in, I opened it up just to check it out. I believe that this shoe is also 3M. I think every shoe he has, like I said in previous videos, like 3M or it has some type of glow effect. And I don't think this shoe is any different. But like, first thoughts, I did not know this yellow, was this shade of yellow was on this shoe. I know with the videos and, like, pictures you post on IG, you can't really get the full effect, you know, like you would in hand. So, this, even with the color change, I've seen numerous videos of the color change, but, like, I can't really tell the, the actual shade because, you know, everybody's camera's quality is different. They might use a filter or whatnot, so... This will be a first for me and you guys watching, unless you have them already. And if you do have them already, let me know down in the comments. Like, what do you think about the colorway? And what the shoe as a whole, you know, like I said, I'm a fan of the shoe. They're comfortable, definitely lightweight. A good summer spring shoe. I catch it for sure, because like I said, it's a great, it's, the design is flawless. I, I'm going to say that the design is flawless. And especially with the rope laces, that you can get with the shoe as well just adds that different like that, that pop just give it something different to like take it to the next level well like, you know you see the plain rope laces that they come with you know they're cool they do the job but you throw the matching joints on and i know these are 3m and these also change colors with the shoes so like um once i get done with this review it should i mean it's gonna be a quick review you know same shoe, nothing nothing crazy as far as like design, nothing changed. You see the side inside, the leather and so. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the laces real quick and hit that flash so we can see the three. Okay. I stand corrected. There's no three M on this particular model. I think this is the first model that I have. Well it's the first colorway that I have. That is not three M. Okay, well sorry about that false information. You know, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But they still change colors. So that's a different feature that most shoes don't have. So as you see the rope laces, definitely make a big difference. All right, man, let's take these outside while the sun is still shining so I can show you the color change. Okay, here we go. Pay close attention to the laces and the actual shoe. I see the laces switch and I was completely wrong. The part that I said was gonna change. Well, I guess yeah, it, they did change. It's more like a yellow now, instead of that cream. And the actual upper of the shoe is turning that um, waffle color. See, only one shoe is changing. Guess the light is not as strong now. I waited too long, but you get the gist of it. It's that waffle color. They definitely look like a Belgian waffle, like in person. I knows the camera's not picking up the actual color. But yeah, these, these jumps are crazy, man. I mean, she could, you know, color or well, change color in the sun and the laces. Like, look at that. If you remember, the laces were yellow and now they're like that waffle color brown or peach or whatever color is supposed to be. They, they're dope. I might have got the colors wrong, but I know this shoe is crazy. I can't wait to wear these. That's another culture vulture, man. The waffle and butter colorway. So let me know. Down in the comments what you think. I will link the website and the IG down below as always. But I'm pretty sure these are sold out. 
And I don't think he's doing any more pre-orders, but you never know. Sorry, man. Catch y'all on next one.